Yes. Yes. All right. Looks like this is it. This is it. This is the moment we've been all waiting for. We're going into game number one of this best of five. Random Civ. Random team. Not random team. Random Civ. Random map. Interesting. Interesting map. A variant of coastal with no rivers, it appears. So Tokyo getting very lucky with Shang spawning at 9 and his teammate Akiu just south of him at 7 or 8 as Carthaginian and as Karth he has gotten a beautiful storage pit with 5, 6, shorefish 7 if he stretches it. Pilot is spawned at 12 as Minnow. Going for some early exploration. Not a lot of C for this minnow player to really take advantage of. Except for this. This this little this deep right here I think is going to be important because the players are going to come in contact on it, I suspect, relatively soon. Now, Soyuz has gotten chosen and he has a very wide open map. He's pretty far from the sea. But it's a large sea, so if he's able to find it and use it, it should be safe for a while, although it is connected all the way around. Interesting to note is that Pilot and Pilot and Soy are not connected by the sea, as there's a land connection. The land goes all the way to the edge of the map. Pilot coming forward with a villager. Most players going for the granary start, whereas as we already covered, Octu has this beautiful storage pit to utilize. Tokyo luring his gazelle. Only gonna be able to get three here probably. But he does have these two elephants. These gazelle look like they're a lot harder to lure. Still worthwhile. Oh, he has this third elephant too. He has a nice elephant. He has a lot of food here. A lot of food sources. He has a nice wood pit here. If he's able to drop that. For four shorefish. There's also four shorefish here with a gold pit. He goes for that. There's a lot of elephants on this side of the map between Octu and Tokyo. Pilot, a lot of villagers on wood. He didn't have great stragglers. Man. I think story of this game is that Soy Gia's map and Civ. It's interesting, his map is very bad. We'll have to see if he can overcome this map. It's gonna be a struggle. He's lured three gazelle, two of them, three of three gazelle properly, and one, one a little far off. But it looks like he will be going forward to drop a storage pit here for wood, and he has three nice elephants in range of both his town center or this. In, in range of both of his town center and his storage pit. Octu coming forward with the veil early, getting some really early information. We'll see how far forward he goes with this, because he, he will be. He's on course to meet up with Soygia's villager here, or this crocodile, and they will narrowly miss. Builder, what is it? So we be seeing the dock 
The dock is already out for the Minoan player. Tokyo has found this beautiful storage pit. Pilot looks like he's going for a water boom. Two two docks early. Maybe we'll be seeing a third dock as well. As a minnow, that's a very strong strategy. It's those cheaper ships makes it a lot more manageable. No docks for TLC yet. Although the food income here for Tokyo is going to be he's going to be very fast on his click this is a lot of food and it's going to be a strong click too soy doing his best to lure these elephants there's one more to get he's gotten some more gazelle here so it's looking all right for him maybe dropping a storage pit here to get these three shorefish and to secure a stone mine and we see Hawk 2 with two very early barracks I'm curious to see if maybe maybe Soy didn't notice this but this is this is a threat this is very close this crocodile is still proving dangerous Hawk 2 with a these, these clubbers out early it looks like he might be going for both players trying to get a double rush in he's already clicked Soy missing this lure and his town center is under duress he needs he can't lose these elephants he can't lose access to them the upgrades for two not there yet but now just uh, after that clubber died plus two defense upgrade came in I think we might be seeing a bronze from Tokyo let's check the timelines really quick Economies pilot off 35 bills, a significant advantage, but both Tokyo and Soy are at 26 and up to the 19 bill rush. But it was a fast rush, 8 minute, 30 second rush. The axes are hidden, fully upgraded, forcing Soy off of his base. Or maybe, maybe not. Manages to get some villagers back to the food sources. Maybe just a little bit of food he needs to get some axes out. There's a clubber, but no upgrades as of yet, as he has not yet hit tool. And Tokyo is going to have a fantastic bronze time this match. It's going to be strong. This wall spot would be really good. The issue for, for TLC is that Pilot has been going unchecked. And he has two barracks up. Might we be seeing some Minoan slingers or axers to defend? If he comes in contact with these with these axers, it could be an issue for him. But Soigia on his side is scattered from his main food sources of income. He, he wasn't able to find the sea. So I think he's just in trouble. Not sure what these villagers are doing, maybe trying to wrap around. But this is interesting. Pilot is open on this side of his map. And he's still in the Stone Age. He can't even build a unit to defend. And this is quite a few fully upgraded. Okay, so Pilot is building a third barracks. I have to think he's going to fight this in the Tool Age. Maybe not recognizing the threat of this bronze time. Another range coming up, so we're going to be seeing, I think, Chariot Archers. Because he doesn't have gold income yet, although he could be stretching. He could be stretching that gold mine. Oh, absolutely devastating for Pilot's economy was this hole in his wall. Losing so many villagers to kill these axers. And there's another one here that he has to deal with, although still just on clubbers. No upgrades yet for pilot. Three axes are still on one of his wood lines. Meanwhile, Soy put starting to put up a fight, but a little late for Octu's aggression. 
Two has free range of this map. He's going to be taking all the elephants. He's got his dock out. This is critical. This is how TLC will be able to compete with Pilot's food income. As he has now successfully walled off some of his villagers. He has to be careful about chopping through these. It's not a very large tree uh, forest for him to work with. And Tokyo is bronzed. He has four ranges. Real upgrade is surely on the way. And we will be seeing chariot archers out, which will, I believe, this will close out this game as Octu marches forward with a massive army. Some of Soy's axes on his tail, but it looks like he's going to be trying to put some pressure on Pilot Elk. Pilot may be getting a little too greedy with three docks. Delaying his bronze time just a bit too much, it appears. He does have sea control though, which will force which will force Tokyo off this wood line for the time being, but he does have wheel now. So we're gonna be seeing four chariot archers coming across the map and probably decimating this wood line. Unless Pilot has a plan. He does have slingers, but I don't know what, sling, what his current number of slingers can do against the army of Octu. Soy, on the fringes of his base, has dropped two towers. Chosen towers will defend quite nicely at this point against the tool army, but here are the chariot archers. And Pilot is in trouble. This pressure, this 2v1 pressure. Soy Gia falling to Octu opens up Pilot. To 2v1. Pilot moving his units around. Tokyo dancing his chariots. Avoiding the axe hits as he doesn't have the armor upgrade yet. So axes will do decent amount of damage. But sadly the range and speed of these chariots. Too much. He just has too many chariots. For Pilot to answer with. To answer to at this point. He has the food income. Doesn't have any stone income right now. Oh, yes, he does. Okay, so he's gotten away with these six villagers on stone that no one seems to have noticed. A large army from Octu is about to catch all these villagers from Soy. Pilot looks like he's going to be nesting his scout ships right in this little spot, which is great for him as it'll find the farms of Tokyo. But, Tokyo, getting in on Pilot's main economy, forcing his wood line off. Timeline. Timeline is, is in favor of TLC. It is in favor of TLC. Pilot's timeline has shrunk significantly. While Tokyo has made up for his speed with units. Finding the stone mine. Oh, all these villagers are going to die. Soy fighting for his life against the Slinger Mass. And with this wood line going down, TLC's economy is still safe. Pilot losing all of his ships to the Chariot Archers of Tokyo Ghoul. I believe that will be game number one. The soy is pushed back again from his woodline. Struggling with this map. Maybe not seeing this this forest out here as an opportunity. These towers will go down to this many slingers. If he micros the slingers. Tokyo moving out on the map with two armies of chariot archers, looking to close out this game. Pilot getting a quick wall off, saving some of his villagers, but villagers on the run don't fill the stockpiles. Um, the scout ships actually. Oh no, yeah, there's this one scout ship here. <laughs> Being a little pain. A lot of Octus. 
Anmi is currently exposed to these two axers. These three axers, rather. Four axers, even. Maybe the counterattack is what they need, but Tokyo seems to be just too safe. Pilot putting up a bit of, of a fight in this choke point. Maybe catching some of Tokyo's chariots off guard, but... Too many, too many chariots. Depends on how much Stonia is stored up. It's currently not mining any. If he can keep making slingers, he can keep fighting. Will Tokyo find this economy? Of course, another slinger comes out, but it will just die at this point. And Octu has hit Bronze Age, so both of TLC are on Bronze. That has to be the game. Yeah. Game number one. Like we said earlier, Soy's map was just horrendous. It was very bad. He had the three elephants, but the wood was so far, his stragglers were garbage. He had nowhere to hide, nowhere to run. His map was just wide open. He went for the tower defense, but a two transitioned into slingers and just didn't care about the towers. Meanwhile, Pilot going for three docks. Maybe thinking the map was islands. Getting punished hard for not scouting this. Recognizing the threat that 